that's right, friends. We're going to talk about the event. I think it's the event. We're talking about the big G versus the little K. <laughs> it's just like it's how, calm. How many? How many what? Ks. Just one K okay. for, for All right. Kong. Good. We're keeping it. Keeping it Kong. We're keeping it clean. Straight up. So we're, we're talking about Godzilla versus Kong. They dropped the trailer. It uh, apparently is going to get delayed a couple of days. Is that what they're looking at it, now? It, yeah. I mean, it's, the international release is staying the same, but the domestic release, which no one's going to see it in theaters, except me, because I will get coronavirus to see that in IMAX. Just to see it in IMAX. I don't IMAX. care. I want to see that monkey beat the shit out of Godzilla. Well, that's not going to happen. It's, it shouldn't, but it, it, I think it will. So I guess what we, uh, we're supposed to talk about today is uh, our reactions to the trailer and then maybe some projections is what's going to go on because as you may or may not know, um, I'm kind of a Godzilla guy. Yeah, right? who bought you that hat? Uh, I don't know. Some indigent. If you look behind Noob Noob, Ow. you will see there's a King Ghidorah sitting up on top there. There's... We've got Gigan, I've got Space Godzilla, I've got a slew of them back there too, all over the place. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's talk about it. I, I watched the teaser. I thought it was good because it's a it's a nice little teaser, not got, giving away too much. I got real hard. Got rock hard. Yeah, so. I think I had a cool like hip hop beat to it too. Mm, I was too busy looking at that Kong on Kong action why does kong need to be chained up in the beginning like that's, a, that's <laughs> if kong is so strong if he can fight godzilla he can fight but he can't break out of chains no. it seems very suspicious can't fight servitude he cannot i don't know why they're dragging him so i i guess you want me to guess at the plot or so this I, is spoilers folks like yes. i could literally spoil the whole movie without seeing it because i've seen just about every godzilla movie well, they're framing this movie, and my thought is they're probably showing that trailer is maybe the first 30 to, to an hour of that movie. But I trying, think it's the first third of the movie, yes. They're trying to frame Godzilla as the bad guy, which seems stupid to me. So I don't, like, do you yeah, think... Yeah, but sometimes Godzilla's a good guy, and sometimes he's a bad guy. He just yeah, does things. but, like, why are they... Like, there's, they're trying to frame it like there's no reason. Like, Godzilla's just doing shit in this and then Kong's just, just rampaging. Yeah, and then Kong's got to protect, I guess, this little girl that he loves. I, who knows? But, like, what... They're bringing in the big guns yeah, to stop Godzilla. Like, why do you think they're fighting? Like, I don't understand. Why do I think that Godzilla is rampaging? Yeah. Because they do say Godzilla's out of control and he's destroying cities. I, I think it's actually... And, and really big spoilers here, folks. And we're going to show why they're spoilers, so we'll give you, like, some some holographic evidence photographic evidence all the evidence metal evidence dna evidence does he have dna i don't know i don't think so i think the easy answer for all this and we're like 99 percent sure about this is that uh that is not godzilla that you're seeing you're actually seeing mecha godzilla so at the very end of king of the monsters you see that Hold they up. have king Ghidorah's head which regenerates right uh -huh. i think they make a metallic skeleton of a Godzilla and then regenerate a skin over top of it. Oh, okay. so that there is my precedence questions. for that. So he does not Buffalo Bill Godzilla and mm, wear him. He is not wearing Godzilla. No, <laughs> okay. that would be fucked up. Like that you would just be see a, little a dead up. Godzilla skinned alive. No, it's not going to be a dead Godzilla. Okay, I think they're going to use King Ghidorah's regenerative abilities. There is precedent for this in uh, Terror of Mecha Godzilla. I forget what year it's from. Mm, is that 1978? One of the Japan years. It, it's a very good one. It's a Toho movie. And I think it's... Oh, man. I should have done my homework. It might be the Heisei era. Don't quote me on that. I uh, I did not do my research <laughs> before we did this episode. We just ad-libbing this bitch. Just ad-libbing it. Uh, I could always look it up, but I don't feel like it. But anyway, uh, basically, Godzilla is destroying the city. And then um, they call... Uh, he, he has a friend... His friend's name is... Um, Mothra. Is not Mothra. Nope. No, it's Angoras. And Angoras goes to confront him as to why he's destroying the city. And then he realizes, after getting his butt whooped, that there's like a little fleck of metal on him. And then Godzilla shows up to be like, yo, who are you? So there's two Godzillas in the city fighting. Oh my God. And he uses his atomic breath and burns the skin off and reveals that he is actually Mecha Godzilla, designed by space aliens who control him. But in this movie, it's probably designed by... Monarch. That, that or the evil offshoot of Monarch yeah, or whatever those guys are. Yeah, that dude who stole the Ghidorah head. 
correct. Yeah, that uh, I would assume uh, Charles Dance or eco terrorist or whatever the fuck his name is. Somehow these people have bajillions of dollars after you know the monsters have destroyed most of the major cities to build a mechanical Godzilla. But just suspend your disbelief; it's all good. Yeah. Well, what's is he like identical to actual Godzilla in terms of power? I don't understand. Like, what's the difference? Uh, Other well, than metal. Other than metal, uh, he can fly and shoot rockets and lasers and all sorts of crazy stuff. He's pretty. Pa- he's one of, if if not Godzilla's arch nemesis, because um, Godzilla and Kong only fought once in 1969. The actual Godzilla. The actual Godzilla. Yeah, they did have a battle, and uh, it kind of ended in a draw. It wasn't real clear who the winner was. So, uh, but that Kong though is 300 feet tall, just like Godzilla was. Like they 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 were on equal footing. So those of you who are confused as to why Godzilla or why Kong will be big enough to fight Godzilla, well, they gave the boy some supplements. All the supplements. All every the supplement. Supplements. All every every Mexican supplement. Every Ukrainian supplement. They shoved a Russian supplements. A whole lot of steroids into his bananas. They just they used. Uh, everything they could find. Maybe yes. anally swabbed them too. I uh, that's a possibility. Maybe they used uh, w- what are those things that they uh, little pills that Anal you put them? No, that's not it. Anyway, <laughs> way to distract me there. So anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, he's a big boy now. Apparently, he's all grown up because they did mention in Kong Skull Island that yeah, he was, was only a little boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now he's a big boy. So I, uh, you know, I it, it, it's. Uh, It'll be it'll be interesting to see, and then I think ultimately, Godzilla will, will they will team up at the end. Kong's gonna be on the ropes. You're gonna think Kong's gonna die, and then the real Godzilla's gonna show up and be like, "All right, bruh. Yeah, that's it's time to throw down, bruh." Based off of Mecha Godzilla being infinitely more powerful and metal, I, I can't imagine Kong by himself doing any damage, and he would just get utterly destroyed. Yes, uh, Mecha Godzilla would bend him over and have his way with him. I would say that there's a good chance in the original Terror of Mechagodzilla, you have, it took two kaiju, Godzilla and King Caesar, to destroy Mechagodzilla. So I think they're kind of going off that same theme. Okay. That would be my guess, that it takes two I, to tango. So there's not going to be Mechagodzilla. I don't know. There is a, there is, it, it's in lore, there is a Mechagodzilla. Um, which is, I would be, maybe that's a teaser for another movie. I mean, I have not seen, this movie's pretty hyped. I, I'm surprised at the reaction of it because the, the King King of the Monsters was just, eh, it was okay. It's not great. If you take out the humans, it was great. Yeah, if you, if you just have the monsters fighting, it's great. This looks like a big, fun action movie, and I think they, maybe they do it right. I'm hoping, but there's a lot of people excited about this. Really excited! I'm shocked. Oh, I'm gonna see it multiple times. And get 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 the coup. Every no, no, time. I'm gonna watch it in IMAX. Oh, and then HBO Max. Doble, a double, 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 dildo, and then watch it in HBO Max. So probably at least three times. At least three times. At least. I will probably give it two viewings. I thought the special effects looked pretty dope. Kong looks pretty pretty dope. I, I like the aircraft carrier scene. Oh, there was one thing. There there are some hidden Easter eggs in it too. I wanted to show. Um, I don't have any of them from the trailer, but <laughs> they. I again There's did not do my show, research. But, but uh, they do have it. They're in the trailer. You can catch a brief glimpse of Super X, which is one of the vehicles that you would see uh, that it, that is used typically to take down Godzilla. And it shows up in Godzilla 1985, and it shows up in a handful of other Godzilla movies. But uh, let's go to the go to why we think that this is this Mecha Godzilla is accurate. So we Googled uh, the Mecha Godzilla toy leak, and when they showed Kong versus Godzilla, as you can see here, there's clearly this weird skeleton-looking thing that, if you look close up looks like a skeleton of Godzilla. Well, to, that looks like a complete redesign of Mechagodzilla, and I think it's pretty interesting. So there's definitely going to be toys that will come out that will look like that, and then it looks like people on YouTube are kind of running with that, but it, you know, typically the toys do destroy um, all sp- of the... What, Star Wars had toys Star that spoiled Wars the movie? Star Wars had toys that spoiled the movie... 
you know, all those extra Rose Ticos that were going to just sit on the shelf, just like she sat, shat, <laughs> sat on the shelf Rose in Rise Ticos. of the... Rose Ticos? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Who's a Star Wars, Rose Tico. Oh, the character the, she sat on the, the Asian girl. She was on the shelf, and then in Rise of the Skywalker, she was on the shelf. There was a toy with her. Of course, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, you're getting one for Christmas now. Nobody bought that. Oh, you're right. That's why they're still on the shelf. You can get them so cheap. <laughs> yeah. So if you could see the in uh, right above us here, there's another um, angle of the toy. So clearly, the ultimate foe is Mecha Godzilla. So I'm very excited about that. I love new additions of him. There was a new version of him. This is really stupid, but in the version of the the anime version, they made they they made a Mecha Godzilla city. There was a three part anime version on Netflix, and they never showed a battle between Mecha Godzilla and and Godzilla. That seems stupid. It's really stupid. But what they did was go, they went back and they reanimated it and they leaked it in Japan, and you can see a fourteen minute version of their fight, which is absolutely unbelievable on YouTube. Be sure to check it out. I highly recommend it for you Godzilla fans out there. It was very cool. There so, better be at least a 14-minute Mecha Godzilla, regular Godzilla fight in this movie. I'm hoping, but I'm <laughs> excited. I think it's going to be good. Um, I can't wait. We'll do a review on it when we get a chance. You're you're super excited. Oh my god, yes! He's, I got chills that entire time. I watched the trailer. I showed my mother the trailer. My you showed your trailer. mother. You oh have a mother and you have a girlfriend. I do. I, have I don't both. believe either They're of those. They're the same person. I agree with that. Yes. So from all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, be sure to like and subscribe if you like this content. Please tell us down below if you think we're right about the spoilers because uh, I'll take my Godzilla knowledge up against almost anybody when I do research. Uh, because I did not do my research here. But hunga, hunga. either way, uh, we love y'all. Yes. And on to the next one. Send me money, please. <laughs>